I hope to get a 100% because I love doing well in school because I was raised in an environment which valued learning. Me too. Yeah, privilege. Oh, oh, that was so bad. That was so bad. <laughs> Privilege is a very loaded term. In a word is access. An advantage that you're either born with or that was handed to you. I think it has a lot to do with how your identity benefits from a system that has been in place for a very, very long time. Yeah, winning the birth lottery, to put it bluntly. <laughs> I have no idea how we're gonna compare it to each other. <laughs> I'm white, but I'm also Native American. I'm a man, but I'm also gay. I'm a Christian, but I'm also poor. I'm probably gonna rank pretty low as a person of color and as a woman. I am a straight white guy, went to an Ivy League school. Both parents have graduate degrees. And you wear so polo tees? I feel super privileged, uh, and I don't know how to talk about it, which is why I'm forcing myself to be in this video. Being a person who of intersectional identities, if it's not the Asian side of me, it's the female side of me or the queer side of me. I'm a middle class white person. I expect to be very privileged. I don't think I'll be surprised at where I land or what you see is not necessarily what you get with me. I think I'd probably be in like the middle upper. Maybe in the middle as a woman of trans experience and as a woman of Asian American background, like 50-50. I'm excited to play the oppression Olympics and see what medal I get. <laughs> USA. Do you think Donald Trump got like a, a thousand percent on this? Woo, this is complicated. I am a man because obviously I identify as a man, but a man of trans experience. I have never been discriminated against because of my skin color. I think I have to check this. I have never been mocked for my accent. My family has southern roots and I grew up really poor, so I definitely didn't grow up speaking the way that I'm speaking now. I am not nervous in airport security lines. <laughs> I'm always nervous. I've been pulled aside before where they're like, um, we see something in like this pointing to the junk area. See, I've never even <laughs> thought about the way trans people experience airport security. Oh yeah. I have lied about my sexuality, I have had to come out, and I have doubted my parents' acceptance of my sexuality, so. <sighs> I fortunately have not had to do that. I have never pretended to be just friends with my significant Oof, other. I have. That one just got me. Having dated women and also having been in interracial relationships with yeah. men, like I've definitely had those moments. I have a lot about my religion, I guess. I feel like I need to take a shower. I've never been told I am attractive for my race. Does that happen? Yeah. I have never felt unsafe because of my gender. I have never been catcalled. I've never been sexually harassed or assaulted. Not checking any of those. Never been called a fag. I actually have. This there question is a slap in the face. My family and I have never lived below the poverty line. We <laughs> just rub it in. I don't know how I expected this to go, but... Ah, oh, it's a lot of check marks. I have worked as a waiter, barista, bartender, or salesperson. In fact, I've worked all four of those jobs. I was a barista. I worked at my aunt's restaurant for a one weekend. <laughs> I have never attempted suicide. I have never been depressed. Like, all that just kind of hits a little too close to home. Not having student loans is the thing I feel luckiest about my life. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Yeah. I do not rely on public transportation. See, you don't think about public transportation when you think about mm. privilege. I knew that I was privileged, but this survey is making me think of a lot of things that I don't actually think about on a daily basis. I've never lied about my ethnicity as self-defense. I absolutely have, and I get away with it because I'm biracial. I consider myself to be physically attractive. Is that something that like is easy to check? I check that easily. Really? Yeah. I didn't check it. Really? I consider so, myself to be physically attractive. Yeah. I've never been violently threatened for my religious beliefs. I never have. And it immediately made me like want to crack because it's like, as I speak this sentence, that's happening to people. I was not bullied as a child for any of my identities. I mean, oh, I yes, was. I was. What? Being smaller. Ooh. Does anyone have some joints for after this? Because like, or a good pillow that I could hold and cry. I feel a little sad all of a sudden um, because there were just so many things I couldn't check. I came into this thinking that I was pretty privileged 
and I left feeling even more privileged. Recognizing your own privilege is definitely a step in the right yeah. direction. Every day I'm obviously very inundated with the fact that I don't have a whole lot of privileges, but I think that I often forget the ones that I do benefit from. It's worth it to look into learning about the privilege that you have because it lets you use it better to like better the lives of the people around you. I encourage everyone to take a look at their own privilege. Even if you consider yourself to be someone who is at a disadvantage, you're probably more privileged than someone else. Going into this test, the advice that I would give is to know that it's not going to define who you are, it's not going to define your character, and it's not going to define your space in life. Those are things that you can create on your own outside of privileges. It just depends on how you create a path to get there.